السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ویلکم ٹو انادر کمپیوٹر سائنس لیکچر سو ٹوڈے وی وڈ بی ڈسکسنگ سیکشن ون پوائنٹ ٹو آف دا نیو سلیبس دس واز انٹ اے پارٹ آف دی ہول سلیبس ایکسیپٹ فار جسٹ ون تھنگ ہاؤ ٹو کیلکولیٹ فائل سائز آف این ایمیج اینڈ دیٹ واز اے پارٹ آف چیپٹر نمبر سکس ان دی اولڈ سلیبس ویر ایز ایوری تھنگ ایلس ان دس لیکچر از نیو اینڈ اکارڈنگ ٹو دا نیو سلیبس سیکشن ون پوائنٹ ٹو ریپرزینٹیشن آف ٹیکسٹ ساؤنڈ اینڈ امیجز اوکے سو فرسٹ آف آل لیٹ اسٹڈی ٹیکسٹ ریپرزینٹیشن ایچ کیریکٹر انپٹ ان ٹو اے کمپیوٹر سسٹم مسٹ بی ریپرزینٹیڈ بائی اے پائن ریکارڈ انکلوڈنگ اسپیس اینڈ اسپیشل کیریکٹرس When a computer converts text to binary to be processed, it uses a tool called a character set. What uh, have the scientists or more likely the computer engineers have done? They have uh, made a table in which each character A, B, C, D, plus, minus, quotation mark, space has been given a dis distinct binary value. And uh, th this table or this is known as a character set. There are many types of character sets available in your PCs like for example if you try to save a file you would see something like uh, this window and over here okay not exactly over here over here you would see this is ms word this word document plain text rtf and so on let's check the text document c encoding this thing utf ansi there are many text uh, there are many character sets possible but in your syllabus we only discuss two the the ascii and the unicode there are two main types of character set that a computer can use ascii and unicode uh, in the previous syllabus just knowing the name of ascii was enough now you need to know a little more detail of it as well so ascii the american standard code for information interchange it was first developed in 1963 and then updated in 1986 uh, standard code uses seven bits for each letter in binary or for each character in binary means for example if you're supposed to write a so it would be 1,2,3,4,5,6,7 something like this means one digit was represented by 7 bits it was later updated to 8 bit codes along representation of up to 256 characters from 0 to 255 this was done to include pronunciation related characters of Spanish and French such as these two as textual communication developed further and became increasingly glo global even ascii extended ascii was too restrictive for all of the different languages and characters required in ascii you could only write english what if you needed to write sanskrit or arabic or urdu or any other language or maybe japanese or chinese so for that another character set was developed that was known as unicode Now the benefit in Unicode is that it uses 2 bytes or 16 bits for representation of each character which means 65000 characters can be represented symbols such as emojis or smileys can also be used if you type something like this and it turns into a smiley this shows that your computer is using Unicode otherwise in if you were using ASCII then it would just remain like this The Unicode consortium was set up in 1991 and it has five goals to create a universal standard that covered all the languages and all the writing systems in the world that is why they allotted 2 bytes or 16 bits for each character so that each and every possible language can be uh, represented digitally in binary 
produce a more efficient coding system than ASCII as ASCII cannot be updated further. Adopt uniform encoding where each character is encoded as 16 bit or 32 bit. The current version even uses 4 bytes or 32 bits. So there are even more options available. Create an ambiguous encoding where each 16 bit and 32 bit values represent the same character. Reserve part of the code for private use to enable a user to assign codes for their own character and symbol. For useful for Chinese and Japanese character set. This means that they have left a lot of codes blank so that a user can make his or her own characters and introduce it to their system and this part that the 16 bit and 32 bit values are same for example the code for a is in unicode a has a value of 41 so if it is we are talking about 16 bit unicode so it would be something like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 and 16 and if we are talking about 32 bit unicode so it would be something like the 41 part would remain mean this the rightmost part would remain the same whereas just the number of zeros would be added to it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 31 and 32 see so this part the actual code for the alphabet remains the same whereas just the number of zeros are added on the left hand side so that you don't need to uh, create multiple uh, codes for the same character this is a in 16 bit unicode and this is a in 32 bit unicode this is the meaning of this point value always represent the same character current unicode version is 14 now we have the sound representations uh, it is highly unlikely that you would be asked to calculate the file size for a text file but if you are given a string and you are asked to find the text size if it is in unicode then one ca if it is in ascii it would be given in the question if that uh, line would be in ascii then one character means one byte so if there are let's suppose this is the line you have to f find the number of, uh, the file size for this line so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 spaces are on also included 9 10 11 12 30 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 so this would be of 30 bytes in ASCII. Similarly, if uh, they say no, this is in Unicode, if it is in 16 bit Unicode, then that means 30 multiplied by 2, it 60 bytes, and if it is in uh, 30, 32 bit, then 4, then this would mean something like 120 bytes. Okay, this one is easy you don't need to remember any formula for that just count the number of characters and then multiply them with if it is in ascii one byte in unicode two or four bytes depending on which type of unicode is being used so then we have sound representation and sound can also be represented by a binary just as text since sound is an analog quantity it has to be converted into digital code before the computer can process it sound is recorded through a microphone and a software that is ADC analog to digital converter which will convert it into digital format by recording an amplitude at a specific time intervals this is known as sound sampling see this is a sound wave and this part the height from the uh, median is known as amplitude a computer software we will convert this into this the type of lines you would see while recording a voice note at uh, in whatsapp this is the amplitude if i draw a line in the middle then you would be better able to see what an amplitude is the height from this line to the top this is known as amplitude now what a sound sampling sampling you basically record 
these values for amplitude for example this is 2 this is 4 this is 6 this is again 2 4 8 12 2 4 7 9 and so on this is known as sound sampling the number of bits used to record each sample is known as sampling resolution or bit depth means for each value of the amplitude the number of bits you are using that is known as bit depth or sampling resolution the number of samples taken in one second means how many amplitudes are you recording in one second that is known as sample rate higher the sample rate higher is the accuracy of the recorded sound higher is the quality of the recorded sound but higher is also the file size it is measured in hertz one hertz is one sample per second if sampling rate or resolution is too low the sound quality would be impaired it will almost be unhearable most audio clips are recorded at 44.1 kilohertz means 44 1100 samples per second with 16 bit sampling rate and each sample is of 16 bits this is suitable for listening while keeping the file at a manageable size for storage now what is the benefit of uh, using a higher sample rate or a higher higher uh, sample re uh, sampling resolution larger dynamic range means you can recreate uh, uh, more type of sounds better sound quality less sound distortion means the sound does not have a lot of noise and the drawback is produces a large file size it takes longer to upload or download or transmit and download music files it requires greater processing power the size of a mono sound file is calculated as sample rate in hertz multiplied by sample resolution in bits multiplied by length of sample in seconds for a stereo sound file you would then multiply the result with 2 because in stereo uh, sound, sound file two channels are being used to record things simultaneously so calculating file size of sound file for example we have this in uh, as an example question an audio cd has sample rate of 44100 and sample resolution 16 bits so music being sampled using two channels so that means this is stereo recording means two mics are being used at the same time uh, calculate the file size for a 60 minute recording so use the formula size of file equals to sample rate in hertz that is given over here multiply by sample resolution that is given over here in bits multiply by length of sample in seconds that is given over here that it is a 60 minute file recording size of sample 44100 multiply by 16 multiply by 60 by 60 because this is in minutes and according to formula we need it in seconds so we multiply it with 60 and this gives us this number the, this many bits multiply it with 2 because this is a, because there are two channels means this is stereo recording so we get the number as this 5080320000 bits now divided by 8 to convert it into bits uh, into bytes and this gives us again a very big number 6350400000 now divided by 1024 multiply by 1024 to convert it into megabits or if you are using the newer units megabytes so divide by this it gives you 605 mb so for a 60 minute recording you are going to need about 605 mbs practice this formula well because it would come really handy this one okay lastly we have image representation they are made up of tiny dots called pixel with every pixel being represented in binary a black and white picture only needs one bit per pixel as one represents black zero represents white in color image each pixel is represented by three binary values red blue and green the number of pixels in each image determines its resolution so the more number of pixels or the higher the resolution of the a resolution it means higher number of pixels better image quality and greater file size type of data that is used 
to provide information such as the dimen dimensions and resolution of image it is called metadata so and another factor of image representation is color depth it means that uh, what is the number of bits that are used to represent each color if a pixel is represented by two bits then each pixel can be one of four colors uh, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 or 1, 1. Modern computers have a 24 bit color depth means one color is three bytes per pixel one bit for red one for blue one for green and 16 million different colors can be represented use probability you have uh, three bytes means 24 bits apply permutation you would know there can be 16 uh, million different combinations increasing or decreasing color depth increases or decreases file size and quality next is the formula you should know formula to calculate image file size for a black white image image height multiplied by image width divided by 8 into 1024 for finding in KB okay or KB byte and formula to calculate image file size for a colored image image height in pixel multiply by image width in pixel this would always be given to you in the question multiply by number of bytes per pixel or the color depth and okay and divide by 1024 because we have already written it in bytes so we do not need to write it in the denominator now let's suppose uh, this is an example question the image here is to be stored on a computer's hard disk this image to work out the total file size in kibibytes we can use the following information number of horizontal pixel is 480 and vertical pixel is 400 this is 480 this is 400 and the color depth is 16 bits yeah, means each pixel is represented by 2 bytes so the calculation is 480 multiplied by 400 and the resolution comes out to be 192,000 this is the total number of pixels multiply it with the number of uh, color depth in bits and you get this number then divided by 8 to find it in to calculate the file size in bytes and then divided by further 1024 to fi find the file size in kilobytes or kbbytes whatever unit you are using or what you can do is instead of 16 just use the number in bytes means you are given this 16 con divided by 8 and find it in and convert it into bytes multiply by 2 so this is going to give you this number this many bytes directly you can skip the rest of this step and then you divide by 1024 to convert bytes into kilobytes or kb bytes whatever unit you are using just make sure to always mention the unit and this would always be your final answer 375 kbs okay so i i hope you have understood feel free uh, to contact if you have any problem take care i'll see you next time allah hafiz